Om Shanti. This is the Sakar Merli of the 17th of May 2024. Essence Sweet children, while living at home with your families, become such trustees that you are not attached to anything. Become such beggars that nothing belongs to you. Question What is the destination of you children through your efforts? Answer When you die, the world is dead for you. This is your destination. All attachment to bodies has to be broken. Become such beggars that you souls become bodiless and you don't remember anything. You simply have to return home. Only those who make such effort change from beggars to princes. Only you children become wealthy from poor and poor from wealthy. When you are wealthy there isn't a single poor person. Om Shanti The father asks you children, is it the soul that listens or the body, the soul? Each soul would surely listen through a body. Some children write, the soul of so-and-so is remembering Bapdada. The soul of so-and-so is going to such and such a place today. It is as though this habit of I am a soul is instilled in you because you children have to become soul conscious. Wherever you look, you know that there is a soul and a body. However, there are two souls in this one, Brahma. One is called a soul and the other is the supreme soul. The Supreme Soul himself says, I enter this one's body in which his own soul is also present. I enter him. A soul cannot stay without a body. The Father now says, Consider yourselves to be souls. When you consider yourselves to be souls, you will remember the Father. You will become pure and go to the land of peace. The more divine virtues you imbibe and inspire others to imbibe, and the more you become a spinner of the discus of self-realization and make others that, the higher the status you will claim. If you become confused about this, you can ask, It is definite that I am a soul. It is only the children who have become Brahmins that the father speaks to. He would not tell anyone else. He only loves his children. Every father loves his children. Although they love others externally, their intellects are aware that others are not their children. I only speak to you children because it is only you children that I have to teach. It is then your duty to teach those outside. Some understand quickly whereas others understand a little and then go away. When people see that there is a lot of expansion here, they will come. Let us go and see what they have. You explain that the Father says to all souls and children, Remember me. Only the Father purifies all souls. He says, Do not remember anyone except me. Have unadulterated remembrance of me, and you souls will then become pure. I alone am the purifier. It is only by having remembrance of me that souls become pure. This is why he says, 
children constantly remember me alone. The father alone changes this impure kingdom into a pure kingdom and liberates you. Where does he take you? To the land of peace and then the land of happiness. The main thing is to become pure. It is easy to explain the cycle of 84 births. As soon as you see the picture, faith is instilled in you. This is why Baba always continues to say, Open museums that have splendour. That splendour will then attract people. Many will come and you can tell them, We are becoming this by following the Father's Srimat. The Father says, Constantly remember me alone and imbibe divine virtues. Each of you should definitely have your badge with you. You know that you will change from beggars to princes. First you will become like Sri Krishna. Unless you become like Sri Krishna, you cannot become like Narayan. It is only when you grow up from being a child that you would receive the name Narayan. Both images are in this badge. You are becoming this. All of you have now become beggars. These Brahma Kumars and Kumaris are also beggars. They don't have anything. To be a beggar means to be someone who doesn't have anything. We wouldn't call some people beggars. This Baba is the greatest beggar of all. You have to become full beggars here. While living at home, you have to break off all attachments. According to the drama, you have broken off all your attachments. Only those whose intellects have faith know that they have given whatever they had to Baba. They say, O oh God, whatever you have given is all yours, it is not mine. That is the path of devotion. At that time, Baba was distant. Baba is now very close. While he is in front of you, you have to belong to him. You say, Baba. You don't look at Baba's body. Your intellects go up above. Although this is the body that Baba has taken on loan, it is in your intellects that you speak to Shiv Baba. This is the chariot he has rented. It doesn't belong to him. It is certain that the greater the tenant, the more the rent one would receive. The landlord would see that if a king wants a building, then instead of 1,000, he would ask for 4,000 rent, because he knows that that one is wealthy. Kings would never say that they are being charged too much. They are not even concerned about money, etc., they don't speak to anyone themselves about money. Their private secretaries would speak about it. Nowadays, nothing works without bribes. Baba is very experienced. Those people are very royal. As soon as they choose something they like, they ask their secretaries to negotiate and bring it. The shopkeeper would keep all the goods on display for the emperor and empress. Both of them would simply signal with their eyes towards what they like and their secretary would speak to the shopkeeper and also take his own commission. Some kings also carry money with them and would ask their secretary to give money to the shopkeeper. Baba has been in connection with everyone. He knows how they act. Just as kings have treasurers, 
So Shiv Baba too has a treasurer. He is a trustee. Baba doesn't have any attachment to this. This one didn't have any attachment to his money and he gave everything to Shiv Baba. So how could he have attachment to Shiv Baba's wealth? He is a trustee. Nowadays the government investigates those who have a great deal of wealth. When people come from abroad, they are very carefully searched. You children now know that you have to become beggars. You shouldn't remember anything. You souls have to become bodiless. Do not even consider those bodies to belong to you. Nothing should remain mine. The father explains. Consider yourselves to be souls. You now have to return home. You know how you have to become beggars. All attachments to bodies should be broken. When you die, the world is dead for you. This is your destination. You understand that what Baba is saying is right. We now have to return home. Whatever you give to Shiv Baba, you receive the return of that in your next birth. This is why you say, God gave all of this. You would have performed good actions in your previous birth and so you have received the fruit of that. Shiv Baba doesn't keep anything of anyone's. People offer gifts to kings and big landlords etc. Some accept those gifts whereas others don't. There you don't make donations or perform charity because everyone there has plenty of wealth. So to whom would you donate? There are no poor people there. You yourselves become wealthy from poor and poor from wealthy. People say to God, Give this one good health, have mercy, do this. Earlier, people only used to ask Shiv Baba for everything. Then they became, then they became adulterated and so they went in front of everyone and said, Fill our aprons. They have such stone intellects. They say that God changes those with stone intellects into those with divine intellects. So you children should have a lot of happiness. It is remembered, if you want to know about super sensuous joy, ask the gopes and gopis of Gopi Vallabh, father of the gopes and gopis. When someone benefits a lot, he becomes very happy. So you children should also remain very happy. You had 100% happiness and then it continued to decrease. Now you don't have anything. At first you had an unlimited sovereignty and then there was a limited kingdom for a temporary period. Look how much wealth Bila had. He continued to build temples. Nothing is received from that. He didn't give anything to the poor. He built temples where people go and bow down. Yes, if someone makes a donation to the poor, he can receive the return of that. When someone builds a Dharamshala, Where many people go and rest, he would then receive happiness in his next birth for a temporary period. If someone builds a hospital, he too then receives temporary happiness for one birth. So the unlimited father sits here and explains to you children. There is a lot of praise of this most auspicious confluence age. You are becoming the most elevated human beings 
who follow the highest codes of conduct, and you are also praised a great deal. When God comes, he only teaches you Brahmins. He alone is the ocean of knowledge. He is the seed of this whole human world tree. He explains to you the secrets of the beginning, middle and end of the whole drama. When people ask you what he is teaching you, ask them, Have you forgotten that God says in the Gita, I make you into the kings of kings? You understand the meaning of this at this time. Impure kings worship pure kings. And this is why the father says, I make you into the kings of kings. This Lakshmi and Narayan were the masters of the world. In the copper and iron ages, everyone bows down and worships the deities of heaven. You understand these things at this time. Devotees don't understand anything. They simply study and listen to stories from the scriptures. The father asks, Did you experience any attainment from the Gita that you have been studying and listening to for half the cycle? You didn't receive any fulfillment from that. You are now being fulfilled. You know that this part is only performed once. God himself says, I enter this body. The father speaks through this one and so he would definitely enter him. Would he give directions from up above? He says, I personally come here. You are now listening to this. Even this Brahma didn't know anything but he now also continues to understand. However, the water of the Ganges cannot purify you. This is a matter of knowledge. You know that the Father is personally sitting in front of you and so your intellects would not go up above. This is his chariot. Baba calls this one a boot and also a container. He is the diamond in this container. He is first class. He should be placed in a golden container. He is making the container golden aged. Baba says, the dirt left the clothes when the laundryman beat them. This is called magic. This is called the magic mantra. With this magic mantra you receive liberation in life in a second and this is why he is also called the magician. You had faith in a second that you would become this. You are now listening to these things in a practical way. Previously when you used to listen to the story of the true Narayan Did you understand it? At that time, at the time of listening to the story, you would remember the lands abroad, the steamer, etc. People would listen to the story of the true Narayan and then go on their travels and they would then return. The father says, You are not going to come back to this dirty world. Barat was the land of immortality, heaven, the kingdom of deities. This Lakshmi and Narayan were the masters of the world. There used to be purity, peace and happiness in their kingdom. The world is also asking for this. There should be peace in the world. Everyone should unite and become one. How can all of these religions unite and become one? Each one's religion and each one's features are different, so how can they all become one? That is a land of peace and happiness. 
There is one religion and one kingdom there. There is no other religion there that there could be any conflict. That is called peace in the world. The Father is now teaching you children. You also know that not all of you children study to the same extent. It is number wise. A kingdom is being established. You children are being made so sensible. This is a godly university. Devotees do not understand. They have heard many times God speaks because the Gita is the religious scripture of the people of Bharat. There is limitless praise of the Gita. The Gita is the jewel of all scriptures, the highest of all scriptures. The jewel of all scriptures means the most elevated scripture. The purifier and the bestower of salvation for all is the one God who is the father of all souls. The people of Barat do not understand the meaning of this. They simply say without understanding that all are brothers. The father has now explained to you, we are brothers. We are residents of the land of peace. While playing our parts here, We forget our father and also our home. Everyone forgets the father who gives Barrett the kingdom of the whole world. Only the father explains all of these secrets. Acha. To the sweetest beloved, long lost and now found children, love, remembrance and good morning from the mother, the father, Bapdada. The spiritual father says namaste to the spiritual children and the spiritual children say namaste to the spiritual father. Essence Vedana 1. In order to experience supersensuous joy, remain aware that this is the most auspicious confluence age when God teaches you through which you will become a king of kings. You now have the knowledge of the beginning, middle and end of the drama. 2. You now have to return home. Therefore, become a full beggar, even with regard to your body. Forget your body and consider yourself to be a bodiless soul. Blessing, may you be a jewel of contentment and remain constantly content and give others the experience of contentment through your drishti, attitude and acts. With their speciality of constant contentment, special souls in the Brahmin clan remain content themselves and with their drishti, attitude and actions, also give others the experience of contentment. They are jewels of contentment, who constantly experience golden flowers of contentment, being showered on them by Bapdada, with their thoughts, words, acts, connections and relationships in a gathering. Such jewels of contentment become the garland around Bapdada's neck. They claim a right to the kingdom and also become part of the rosary rotated by devotees. Slogan Finish everything negative and wasteful and become free from having to labour. Om Shanti